draw a minor third below each given note, and we're going to use half notes and identify each note. Let's begin with the first example, E. Remember to count three, and we're going to count down three because they want us to count below. Identify C and make it a half note. And now we're going to analyze it. We're going to start with E on the keyboard and go a whole step, half step. E to D is a whole step, and then a half step, C sharp. This is why it's important for us to identify the letters first, because if you didn't, it would be a possibility for you to identify as D flat. It cannot be D flat because E to D is a second. We want a third. Let's go to the next example. E flat now. Ignore the flat, count three from E. E, D, C. It's C. We're going to erase the keyboard. And now come back to the keyboard starting on E flat and go a whole step and a half. Whole step, half. E flat to C is a minor third. The next example is C. Count down three, C, B, A. Identify it on the staff. And now let's go to the keyboard. C to B flat as a whole step, and then it lands us on A as a half step. We're going to leave it alone. Next example, F sharp. Ignore the sharp and count down three from F, F, E, D. Let's use the keyboard. Again, we're going to erase part of the keyboard. Starting on F sharp, we're going to go a whole step, then a half step, and that is D sharp. Once again, it's important for us to identify the letter because we do not want to make the mistake of the enharmonic and labeling it as an E flat. F to E is a second. We want a third, so F to D. F sharp to D sharp is what would be a whole step and a half step, a minor third. The last example is B flat. Ignore the flat, count down three from B, B, A, G. And now we're going to start on B flat and go a whole step and then a half step, which leaves us with G. Music